Hello and very good morning. Welcome to All in Vedicus webinar session. I'm Dr. Deepak Kumar from Vedicus Foundation. If we are talking about Ayurveda, Ayurveda is not only a health science, but it's a life science. In Ayurveda, हम health के अलावा भी life के सारे aspects को mental health as well as beauty और सभी चीजों को हम लोग इसमें cover करते हैं. अगर हम Vedicus Foundation की बात करते हैं, तो हमारा foundation 2015 से एक्टिवली वर्क कर रहा है ऑनलाइन पोर्टल्स पे और फ्रॉम 2017 हम हम लोग रजिस्टर्ड हैं यमुनानगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में एज ए चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट और हम इस मोटो के साथ आगे बढ़ रहे हैं कि जो आयुर्वेदा का पोटेंशियल है आज के मॉडर्न इराज में हम लोग बहुत सारी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम्स को फेस कर रहे हैं और जो कि एक बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है आज के हेल्थ साइंस के लिए बट आयुर्वेदा के अंदर एक हिडन पोटेंशियल है इन सारी प्रॉब्लम से फाइट करने का और यही सारी चीजें हम कॉमन कॉमन पीपल तक पहुंचाने का काम कर रहे हैं वैदिकस फाउंडेशन एक चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट की तरह भी काम कर रहा है और हम ह्यूमन वेलफेयर के साथ साथ आयुर्वेदा के वेलफेयर के लिए वर्क कर रहे हैं एंड इसके लिए हमारे पास एक्सपर्ट्स की एक बहुत अच्छी टीम है चाहे मम चिकित्सा हो चाहे हमारा योगा हो सिद्धा आयुर्वेदा हम सभी आयुष के सारे फॉर्मेट्स को साथ लेके आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और हमारे पास आज नॉट इवन फ्रॉम इंडिया वर्ल्ड 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 वाइड हमारे पास एक्सपर्ट्स हैं आ, आज की सेशन में हमारे साथ जुड़ रही है डॉक्टर मंजरी जोशी मैम मैम आई एम ऑडिबल टू यू वेलकम मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैं आप लोगों को मंजरी जोशी मैम से इंट्रोड्यूस कराना चाहूंगा ऑनरेबल मंजरी जोशी मैम एक रिनाउड आयुर्वेदा फिजिशियन है साथ ही साथ उनको पंचकर्मा में चौबीस सालों का अनुभव है मैम आपने इनफर्टिलिटी और टी के क्षेत्र में भी बहुत काम किया है इसके साथ साथ मैम आप गर्भ संस्कार का प्रोसीजर भी रन कर रही हैं जो कि एक जो कि एक एंटीनेटल केयर का बहुत ही रिनाउड कंसेप्ट है हमारे आयुर्वेदा में और धीरे धीरे ये अराइज हो रहा है सो मैम इसके लिए थैंक यू सो मच आपको इसके साथ ही मैम आप जो पंचकर्मा थेरेपी के थ्रू आपने जो ब्यूटी के कंसेप्ट को इंक्लूड किया है जिसने आयुर्वेदा को एक नई दिशा दी है कि कैसे हम आयुर्वेदा के कंसेप्ट्स को यूज करके हम सभी लोग अच्छी तरह से जानते हैं कि जो हमारे आचार्य हैं उन्होंने लेप प्रलेप और बहुत सारी चीजों का वर्णन किया है बट मैम ये एक इग्नोर सेक्शन रहता है लेकिन आपके यह फाउंडेशन के थ्रू आपने ब्यूटी को कैसे आपने एक लैंडमार्क बनाया है और इसको एक मेन स्ट्रीम में ला जो आप वर्क कर रही है एक ये एक बहुत रिनाउड वर्क है सो so, मैम आज हम इस वेबिनार सेशन के थ्रू जो हमारे साथ जुड़ रहे हैं ऑडियंस उनको मैम प्लीज आप ब्यूटी के बारे में बताएंगे और कैसे जो ये ब्यूटी ब्यूटी का कंसेप्ट है जो मॉडर्न इरा है आज के टाइम में हर इंसान खूबसूरत दिखना चाहता है सो so, जैसे मैंने पहले भी बताया कि आयुर्वेदा सिर्फ एक हेल्थ साइंस नहीं है ये लाइफ साइंस है तो कैसे हम अपने लाइफ को इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं एंड नो डाउट विदाउट ब्यूटी तो आगे मूव करना थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाता है यू नो इट्स मेटलिस्टिक वर्ल्ड तो गाइस आज आपको डॉक्टर मंजरी जोशी मैम आयुर्वेदा के थ्रू हम अपनी ब्यूटी को कैसे इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं इसके बारे में बताएंगी मैम आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है प्लीज मैम आप स्टार्ट करें थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस वंडरफुल इंट्रोडक्शन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू ऑल फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टॉक अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ब्यूटी इन आयुर्वेदा so without wasting time i think we will uh, start with our uh, session so uh, basically ayurveda is the traditional ancient science of india the science is more than 5000 year old which has its roots in vedas it is considered as the oldest and most holistic system available to human being ayurveda is the upaveda of atharva veda so the science mainly focuses on the well being of a healthy person we all know that prevention is better than cure and this is the main objective of ayurveda and the science has a 360 degree holistic approach towards prevention and treating the patient as well so this complete health science includes cosmetic aspects as well the concept of beauty beauty is as old as ayurveda 
the ancient use of the ancient use of beauty products is believed to have originated in india wish or desire to look beautiful is the basic human instinct and not of course limited to women only the famous depictions of ajanta elora caves the khajurao caves prove that not only women but men also adorn themselves with jewelry stains and cosmetics the ancient history of aryan period witness the use of various herbs like turmeric saffron indigo chandana for beautification use of mehndi or hina for dyeing hair and conditioning was also practiced in the olden times it is very surprising even the word beautician vanity case are not new to ayurveda or to india the earliest reference of a beautician is from the great epic of mahabharata when the pandavas were in exile in bagnito draupadi worked for the queen virata and she called herself sairandhi she was the caretaker of the queen there is reference of her carrying a prasadana petika that is the vanity case which she uses to store beautifying herbs different lepas toiletries and accessories to decorate the human body different herbs were recommended for different seasons for body beautification and the ingredients used during the cold seasons were quite different from those used in the warm season so with these references we can definitely say that ayurveda has a great role in beauty enhancement so with this introduction now let's move in ayurveda we all are creations of this beautiful nature and there is no word ugly in nature's creation we all are beautiful the judgment of grades of beauty lies in the vision of the pure it is interesting to look back to a time when beauty was defined in holistic terms for ayurveda the concept of beauty has involved much more than outer appearance alone ayurved concept of beauty is not just limited to your external appearance but it gives us a broader idea of beauty cosmetology is the science of alteration of appearance and modification of the beauty today's modern era of technology and cosmetics cosmetic surgeries are at the top people are ready to spend so much money on cosmetic surgeries and the latest data shows us that liposuction rhinoplasty eyelid lift face lifting hair transplant fat grafting breast implants etc are the top procedures of today's era however ayurveda has a very unique perspective on beauty and believe that beauty or external appearance is the harmony of the whole body that is your body mind and soul that the true beauty is composed of three vital elements well nourished body 
a balanced mind and a peaceful spirit in short we can say that outer beauty is a reflection or a mirror of one's inner health and well-being so if only external appearances are good but you are suffering from any disease or any emotional stress or you are unsatisfied in your life that always reflects on your face take an example if you are suffering with pain it automatically reflects on your face and though your external appearance is very beautiful someone will definitely ask you are you not feeling well so this is how our physical pain can reflect on our body if you are suffering with anemia your face looks dull and pale am i right so this is how any disease can disturb your external looks or beauty or appearance now coming to mind and external beauty they are also closely related if you are happy if you are enjoying the moment if you are enjoying your work it definitely reflects on your face with a pleasant smile however if you are not happy you are afraid you are sad you are angry all these emotions can reflect on your face you know just imagine your emotional state by going for an exam you know that fear that stress it automatically reflects on your face and which can be easily noticed by the other people so your image emotional imbalance it also reflects on your face now try to remember few faces who are totally satisfied with their lives with their achievements with their career these people always look contented satisfied and that reflects on their external appearance as well so we can call them as the happy soul so we can say that external beauty and internal beauty are closely related to each other am i right basically the concept of beauty in ayurveda is holistic so definition of beauty in ayurveda is it is rupam gunam and vayastyagam iti shubhanga karanam so as for the concept of beauty in ayurveda rupam gunam and vayastyagam are the three pillars of the beauty now let's see one by one what is rupam what is gunam what is vayastyagam right so first what is rupam rupam is the outer your outer appearance your outer look how we can identify this rupam so good complexion healthy hair beautiful eyes sharp nose shining face fair skin even beautiful smile wrinkles and a perfect body figure and many more the external features not uh, are nothing but the rupam and this rupam always vary from person to person you know the concept of external looks they are different different countries different regions different people some people like may like straight hairs few people will say that oh my god curly it's a curse for me but few will say oh i love curly hairs so rupam is the external appearance of your uh, body 
now what is guna but the inner beauty that comes from within and it is characterizing personality and essence of mind it's what always reflects on your external body or vyas tyago which is lasting long lasting beauty looking and feeling younger than your chronological age is the vyas tyago many times i heard now i have done in my life he is who is going to look at me and blah 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 but i always say age is just a number you need to number from you always you have a right you have a right a right to you have to do whatever you feel at any age so ayurveda does not focus only on the cosmetics to achieve the state of true beauty cosmetics is one thing which we can use to enhance the beauty now it's interesting to know the ayurvedic criteria to determine the beauty previously we have seen that yes fair skin good complexion and all that things they uh, external appearance it is beauty but now what ayurveda says about the beauty your body constitution sara that is the structural predominance sanhanan that is the compactness of to work then your skin complexion pramana that is the body measurements dirghayu lakshana that is the symptoms of long life so beauty is not only a source of joy but it gives you confidence and proud to some extent many young girls visit to my clinic and they complains about their looks about their acne on the faces about the scars on their faces about the tan on their faces and they particularly mentions that ma'am it doesn't look good and i am getting inferiority complex while working or interacting in the society with my friends with my colleagues etc so how to achieve this beauty or how to maintain the beauty as we have already seen that harmony among the body mind and soul are very important for the beauty now as per ayurveda fundamentals beauty always starts listen carefully beauty always starts in the mother's womb ayurveda is the only science which has given this beautiful deeper thought to the world in charak samhita it is mentioned that few foods can affect the baby inside the womb in short we can say that excess eating of specific food or specific test can create health issues in the baby for example it is mentioned in ayurveda that sweet test or excess eating of sweet can cause some issue in the baby so ayurveda has given lot of importance for the mothers and babies health and wellness mother must follow the diet as per ayurveda in ayurveda it is mentioned that the pregnant woman must eat specific food in a particular month of pregnancy along with the other food this is a very very deep thought or deep consideration of any element and ayurveda even gives emphasis on activities during the pregnancy and it is also it also has good or bad effect on baby so i request all would be mothers 
to strictly follow ayurveda garbha sanskar for healthy handsome intelligent beautiful baby so one thing i would like to share that before doing any of these things please consult your ayurveda physician because nowadays everyone follows the google university am i right so people are just browsing on internet and they start following these things but there is a vast difference between information and knowledge google gives us information but that is not the knowledge for example saffron is good for pregnant women you might have heard all these things that it makes the baby's skin very fair good very soft circle soft but this information is also available on google but do you know in which month of pregnancy the woman is supposed to take the saffron no so this is the knowledge so always consult your ayurveda doctor for uh, any diet consultation or any uh, pregnancy related uh, diet planning so now let's see the other beauty tips which individuals can follow in their lives so first as i said a well nourished body which reflects on your face so first we will see what we can do to maintain or for a healthy body so very first important point is diet and digestion we all know that you are what you eat a radiant clear complexion begins with proper nutrition efficient digestion and proper absorption of nutrients by the body and also regular elimination of waste products from the body if you are eating nutritional food regularly however if it is not getting digested properly that food will not give you the proper effect or proper nutritional properties to your body so further what we can add you are what you eat is not just enough but we can add you are what you digest am i right so the following tips will be useful for you regarding diet and digestion for glowing healthy complexion follow dietary recommendations as per your body constitution your skin type and the season because the food which is good for my body which is good for my skin may not be suitable for another person or he may need that same food in different dosages or in different form am i right So please yes, consult your Ayurveda physician for your perfect diet planning. Now I will share with you all few common diet tips which are helpful for your diet and nutrition. It is mentioned in Ayurveda as eight rules of dietetics. Eat your main meal at midday. because your digestive fire is strongest at that time imagine four parts of your stomach eat two parts of it as the food one part of water and keep one part empty for the proper digestion you know many times we attend some marriage or some party and we eat excess what happens we say oh my god it is completely full and i don't have even a space to take the pill also so don't eat excess always focus on your food while eating it is very important 
never eat in front of tv or in front of uh, mobile or in front of a laptop or while you are working always avoid ice as they damage your digestive fire always include all six tests in your diet always eat pure freshly prepared food never ever skip any meal this is most particularly applicable for the pitta constitution people eating food grown with chemicals and prepared with synthetic preservatives and additives can create more reactive toxins known as amavesha in ayurveda and can result in breakouts of skin rashes acne and other skin problems now few very simple tips or very simple changes which you can make in your regular diet because i have now given you the list how you can eat your food but now what things you can add to your diet so first of all include ghee that is clarified butter in your diet it gives glow to the skin then milk butter milk ginger turmeric black pepper legumes almonds dates raisins whole grains lot of green leafy vegetables and herbal tea suitable to your constitution these all must be included in your diet because many of these foods possess anti aging hair nourishing and skin strengthening properties eat plenty of juicy fruits which are freshly uh, cut or freshly prepared juices it help you to increase the oja which is the finest and most refined by product of the digestion oja contributes to enhance beauty vitality strength immunity and overall well-being of your body always use or always add spices while you are cooking spices add not only flavor to the food but they have a great property that they increase or support the digestion they make the nutrients easily available to your body so spices are not just great flavor enhancers but they help you stay healthy and beautiful a very simple example cumin seeds jeera you might be knowing all this it helps to flush the body toxins out of your body which in turn can improve your complexion so the next important point for the wellness of the body is the lifestyle management nowadays it's a uh, very difficult people say oh ye nahi hoga mujhse ho nahi hoga mujhse kyun nahi hoga it is very easy to follow the ayurvedic dinacharya ratri charya and ritu charya because they have given utmost importance for a well nourished body there are so many body rituals mind rituals which are important for maintenance of the beauty ritu charya is nothing but the fine tuning of dinacharya and ratri charya we are planning a workshop in which you will be focusing mainly on the lifestyle management but i will just give you few insights of this lifestyle management here because it's a vast topic i will expound few body rituals which are anti aging and useful for disease free life 
the most important body ritual mentioned in ayurveda is the daily massage that is the abhyanga abhyanga is a simple way to feel pampered and relaxed while it deeply nourishes the skin this ancient ayurvedic practice of massage nourishes the seven different layers of the skin as well as seven different types of body tissues this massage is considered ayushkara that is conducive of longevity and more specifically helping to increase the firmness of your skin able of destroying your old age or it delays the process of aging or process of becoming old it also helps to reduce the physical and mental fatigue stress purifies the skin improves the circulation and obviously this enhances your complexion and makes it more radiant and attractive the aroma of the oils relaxes the mind which is the goal of this abhyanga other therapies such as anjana dhumapana nasya swachha vastra dharana aschotana dental cleaning tongue cleaning these all body rituals help maintain the wellness and beauty of your body and organs so if you follow these daily body rituals on a regular basis i am sure you need not to go to any beauty parlor or in any spa to enhance your beauty because these body rituals will take care of your skin and beauty on a regular basis ritucharya in ayurveda it has mentioned specific foods or specific rituals for a particular season for example now it's winter here in india shishir ritu consumption of chavan prash to boost your immunity is mentioned almond oil is a good moisturizer and the outer climate is very cold and dry so which ultimately makes your skin dry in the winter season so regular use of almond oil in winter can reduce dryness of your skin also use of few herbs like clove lemongrass black pepper turmeric for good digestion are recommended in grishma ritu that is in the summer outside climate is very hot and that's why to cope up with the outer heat apply some cooling herbs like chandana rose petals on your body and one can wear cooling gems to fight against the outer heat so in varsha rutu always wear light clean clothes and use different fragrances so this is how we can maintain our body maintain our beauty in the different seasons now the third important thing for the wellness of your body ayurveda has recommended so many useful herbs for internal and external use so these herbs help for rejuvenation now i would like to share few important ayurvedic herbs that will work like magic to give your face a pretty radiant glow first is amla amla also known as indian gooseberry which is rich in vitamin c and any aspect with antioxidants that makes it a great anti aging herb so amla promotes healthy skin it reduces the wrinkles it it is good for your hair it also helps for your 
long lasting beauty it protects the skin from the side effects of excess stress and pressure nowadays lot is uh, world is talking about application of vitamin c serum application of vitamin uh, c internally there are so many international brands so many tablets so many creams so many serums with vitamin c but my question is if vitamin c is naturally available in abundance in india why we need these chemicals why we need these tablets for getting benefit of vitamin c i think natural vitamin c is more important and easily gets absorbed in your body next herb is tulsi holy basil it is widely known for its medicinal properties but it can be useful for delaying the aging process such as wrinkles and fine lines it is not only help in provide the anti aging anti inflammation but it also improves the texture of your skin giving it a smoother finish for all these reasons tulsi has become a skin friendly super food next one is the ashwagandha it is famous for its stress relieving properties but how many of we know that it has a rejuvenating benefit on your skin ashwagandha is rich in antioxidant which helps protect your skin against any free radicals with regular consumption of ashwagandha you can get youthful younger skin so next herb is the turmeric turmeric is a nature's gift to mankind from good health to healthy skin you name it and this herb can do it makes your skin look younger health but it will also give you youthful skin the next herb is the guduchi giloe because of its properties during the tough periods it also has anti which help revive your skin tissues and fight inflammation next very famous herb is the saffron mentioned in ayurveda as the beauty enhancer saffron milk way to add saffron in your diet to improve your beauty so what are you waiting for just add all these dietary uh, changes just add all these herbs in your body and i am sure it will definitely help you to maintain your wellness and beauty now the next important part to maintain health and beauty is yearly panchakarma or yearly cleansing program recommended in ayurveda this is just like servicing your car on a yearly basis now imagine what will happen if your car is not working properly while you are on a road trip you will definitely become irritated you will be very worried about your travel so god has given us this beautiful body which is like a very expensive machine and we all have to take care of our body by servicing our body on a regular basis we always never forget the servicing date of our car but we are not that particular about our body our body also needs proper rest proper servicing and proper care for detoxification and maintenance so this yearly panchakarma helps to check out toxins out of your body and gives proper lubrication 
to your body helps in rejuvenation improves circulation improves your skin tone just imagine your car when it comes immediately from the service station so you say oh now it's very clean now it's looking very beautiful so same way when you do this panchakarma your body becomes very pure very clean so all the panchakarma therapies and rejuvenation treatments they help improve your physical health for beauty management health promotion by eliminating toxins out of body so all these rejuvenation therapies in ayurveda teach us the way to become naturally beautiful which is not just limited to the physical body but extends to emotional qualities and vitality of a person so rejuvenation therapy is regarded as the integral part of ongoing self care that helps beauty be with you throughout the life and fresh start in process of making health supporting lifestyle changes consumer trends suggest a gradual shift from chemical based products to ayurvedic beauty products growing concern over side effects of chemical based products is the main reason behind this strain and ayurvedic natural cosmetics and resolution the uh, this industry is growing at a higher rate in short this is nothing but purely aesthetic program for your body now next important point in the wellness of body is your sleep early to bed early to rise it's a very famous quote if it is one of the simplest and easiest way to promote and maintain natural beauty because a lack of sleep leaves dark circles under your eyes and damages your skin and it's natural uh, moreover ayurvedic experts has mentioned about the value of good sleep it is one of the pillars of good health because it's during these sleeping hours the body naturally detoxes and rejuvenates itself so consider the following recommendations for better sleep try to go to bed before 10 pm stay away from the mobile or electric gadgets one hour before you go to sleep so these uh, things will help you to improve uh, your beauty now there are a few fragrances which can improve your health because nowadays insomnia is getting worse people are suffering with lack of sleep so few precautions you can take to improve your health as i told you aroma is very beneficial for getting good sleep so you can use uh, oil diffusers in your bedroom you can use uh, many herbal uh, sticks to improve uh, the to create some environment in your bedroom so all these things will help you for the good sleep now the last thing for wellness of body is consumption of some ready to use medicines or immunity boosters for maintenance of the beauty so now in winter you can use or you can eat almonds dates even you can drink the turmeric milk now next part is the mind so 
फॉर योर मेंटल हेल्थ योगा प्राणायाम मेडिटेशन इमोशनल क्लिनजिंग स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एनीथिंग यू कैन डू टू बैलेंस द माइंड एंड इमोशंस विल बी रिफ्लेक्टेड on your external appearance meditation is an excellent stress management it reduces the stress and definitely it reflects on your face so doing in your routine just add all these rituals to reduce the stress and if it is helping for your mind and body then you will look more younger and more beautiful deep breathing techniques good conduct good thoughts good deeds all always reflect on your face now the last part is peaceful soul or peaceful spirit when body and mind are working in good condition obviously the person is a peaceful soul now i would like to share a few home remedies which you can start implementing immediately after this lecture what you apply on your skin is absorbed by your skin so using heavy synthetic chemical products can damage your skin so th- this does not mean you have to uh you don't have to use any cosmetics but always look for natural ingredients natural products become familiar with their ingredients many products that claim to be herbal or botanical can contain artificial ingredients so please check all the product details before you apply or before you use any herbal cosmetics now i would like to share a very natural cleansing scrub for your body so a uh, 1/4 teaspoon almond powder 1/4 teaspoon orange peel powder 1/4 teaspoon lavender flower powder 2 tablespoons of yogurt and apply this scrub gently on your face and wash your face after 10 to 15 minutes so this natural scrub is very useful for the dry skin now it's the winter season the climate is very dry and cold so you can try this natural scrub recipe for your skin now for the sensitive skin use the dry skin same recipe but substitute the whole raw milk for yogurt use rose petals instead of orange for oily skin 1 teaspoon wheat for uh, oily skin you can uh, go with the wheat bran then almond powder and orange peel so this all you can mix with the lemon juice because oily skin don't need yogurt or milk because they already have the moisture so lemon juice and all these ingredients you can apply gently on your face with the fingertips let this scrub set on your skin and then using very light pressure just scrub it and clean your face with warm water apply any good moisturizer after uh, this uh, scrub you can go for almond oil you can go for pure ghee or even you can go for the coconut oil so these things you can do for your skin now there are so many uh, moisturizers in the market but as i told you go for the natural ones so that it will give you proper moisturizer and it will give a real nourishment to your skin now there are few herbal teas mentioned in ayurveda 
remove your toxins out of body so like as i told you the cumin and coriander the cardamom uh, even the bay leaves they also help to improve your skin tone so these herbal tea will remove dead skin from your body and face and it will help to enhance your skin glow so herbal teas they pack out toxins out of the body now i advise to do total herbal facials body polishing few new techniques where i have used all herbal ingredients to enhance the beauty so now to conclude this session we can say that aging is an unavoidable experience to everyone and desire to look young is priority or majority to all of us the latest trends in beauty health and wellness sector are giving rise to a new dream of possibilities by fusing and teaching with traditional indian medicine science so ayurved emphasis on natural also offers a vast amount of information which is based on ayurveda principles so go for the herbal products which are based on uh, principles of uh, ayurveda and anti aging activities even skin care there are so many can develop or which you can use in anti aging cosmetics with natural ingredients for the tropical applications thank you so much for this presentation now if you have any questions you can ask me थैंक यू सो मच मैम आपने इतने सुंदर तरीके से सारा कुछ तक कॉन्साइज करके बता दिया है आई डोंट थिंक सो किसी को कोई क्वेरी होगा स्टिल अगर किसी को कोई क्वेरी है या कोई क्वेश्चन है तो आप चैट बॉक्स में ड्रॉप कर सकते हैं और uh, मैम uh, एक क्वेश्चन आया है प्लीज सजेस्ट विच क्रीम और ऑयल इज बेस्ट फॉर स्किन एप्लीकेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम हॉब्स यू मैं but uh, me as a founder of kiha herbs i have my own brand of cosmetics uh known as kiha herbs i am based in pune and all my creams oils and beauty products they are uh, based on fundamentals of ayurveda with fda approval and gmp certification if someone wants to connect with me you can connect with me on Herbs Facebook page or Instagram page, or even you can contact me because all the products are available there. Uh, you can search Iha Herbs on Google, and uh, ma'am also have Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Still, you face any problem, then you can drop your query. Uh, Vedikas uh, will solve this. Ah, uh, ma'am, I have a personal question. Uh, ma'am, these days a uh, trend is running: be vegan. तो वीगन मीन्स मैम दीज पीपल इवन अवॉइड डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक घी एंड मिल्क सो वट वुड यू लाइक टू से अबाउट और रॉन्ग एंड इट विल अफेक्ट ह्यूमन हेल्थ वेगन कंसेप्ट इज एक्चुअली नॉट मैंशन इन आयुर्वेदा बिकॉज आयुर्वेदा गिवन लॉट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस टू द डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक मिल्क घी uh yogurt curd buttermilk etc so i will not recommend anyone to be vegan nowadays why that train is very common because we don't know how the animals are reared we don't know which medicines are given to the animals we don't know which hormones are given to them to increase the milk output and that's why the people are becoming more vegan but if you get a right product right milk then i think it is important to consume these products for the beauty and wellness of your body thank you ma'am uh, ma'am one more question like uh, different professionals hain like ye doctors hain ya fir students hain to usually hum dekhte hain ki jo sleeping pattern ka trend hai wo disturb hota hai opds mein bhi patient aate hain they are complaining about sleeping patterns तो जैसे कि आपने बोला एवरीथिंग इज रिलेटेड टू डाइजेशन एंड हेल्थ सो नो डाउट कि ब्यूटी आपका अफेक्ट होगा वहां पे 
तो इस इस तरह के पेशेंट को हम कैसे डील करें कि भाई आ, उनके वो कहते हैं हमारी मजबूरी है कि स्लीपिंग पैटर्न इम्प्रूव हो ही नहीं पाएगा उस केसेस में दिस इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर अस टू गेट देयर ब्यूटी बैक बट देन इवन दे कैन यूज सम अंडर आई ऑइल्स और सम अंडर आई ट्रीटमेंट्स एज यू नो दैट नेत्र तर्पण और नेत्र बस्ती इट गिव्स ब्यूटिफुल लुक टू योर आईज ऑल्सो सो इफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर देम टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज विद देयर स्लीप टाइम और स्लीप आवर्स then these external therapies will definitely limit their problem so i think they can uh, use some uh, oils for application or even they can add few things few foods to improve the sleep pattern thank you so much ma'am aapne itne simply uh, simple way mein sab kuch explain kar diya uh, and uh, jo bhi aapne beauty tips di hain hum logo ko आई होप सबको बहुत अच्छा लगा होगा और सभी लोग फॉलो करेंगे एंड मैन हम हम लोग चाहेंगे कि फ्यूचर में भी लाइक मेंटल वेलबींग को लेके या जो गर्भ संस्कार है एंटीनेटल केयर को लेके आई थिंक उसके बिना जो है ब्यूटी की बात करना मतलब एक अधूरा अधूरा है तो फ्यूचर में चाहेंगे कि आप हम लोग के साथ जुड़े इस तरह का सेमिनार भी दे एंड सो डेट कि हमारे ऑडियंस चीजों को अच्छे से समझ पाए एंड सभी लोग फॉलो करेंगे इवन हम लोग भी पर्सनल लेवल पे कोशिश करेंगे कि आज जो सीखा है गेंद के है उसको आगे कैरी करें एंड मैम अगेन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आस एंड इन लाइट आवर नॉलेज थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू गाइस फॉर ज्वाइनिंग वैदिकस एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एंड दिस सेशन एंड फॉर फ्यूचर वेबिनार्स प्लीज स्टे कनेक्टेड विद अस थैंक यू सो मच